All right, guys. <clears throat> so I just wanted to quickly kind of go over the uh, the couple steps that I took to fix my inbox too. Um, so how I got this was uh, through Craigslist. Contacted a guy who had it on there for uh, three hundred dollars, and I actually got it for two hundred. And um, so I thought what I got was like a smoking deal, and you know this is going to be cool. I'll bring it home, hook it up, and start making music with it. Um, but what I noticed when I got home was that it didn't work with my system. Um, and my system is a Windows 7, uh, laptop basically. And, um, so there's a couple things that I had to do. Um, first thing I did was, uh, first thing I noticed was that the, uh, the inbox wasn't being recognized, uh, by my computer. I, I installed, um, the, the, uh, Pro Tools disc that came with the, the system and everything um, wasn't being recognized. So I went to Avid's website and um, downloaded the the drivers that they have for um, not only the Mbox 2 but also the drivers for the Pro Tools 8 LE. Um, I'm going to try to show you the drivers here, um, the ones that I, the newest ones. I'll put the link in the, the uh, description. But uh, basically, you're going to want to go to, when, I, when you click on that link, go to this um, Mbox 2 USB Family Drivers. Click on that. It gives you a couple options here. And obviously, the top one for Windows is going to take care of the Windows 7 uh, drivers for the Mbox 2. Okay, once you get this uh, 9.0.2.65 here um, and install that, your Windows 7 system will definitely recognize the Mbox 2. Um, so that takes care of that one. Um, the second one is the update for the Pro Tools 8 um, LE software. So another problem that I was having was that my Pro Tools 8 disk um, not only wouldn't work with Windows 7, but it just wasn't um, installing at all. It, it was just having a problem installing. It would go through like the first couple steps and then just hang every time. I looked at the disk, checked for scratches, and there wasn't anything on there. But um, so what I had to do was go back to the Avid website and order for it was like fifteen dollars uh, some replacement discs, which are right here. They, that's what they look like. Um, but you get the uh, the Pro Tools 8 LE replacement disc, and of course you still have to use your same um, registry uh, registry key that you get on the original disc. But um, these new discs work; they actually install. Um, everything is, you know, installs correctly. Um, then you apply this 8.0.5 update for Windows, and there you have Pro Tools all up and working, okay? Now, the third problem that I was having, once all that was set up and, and working good, was uh, I was getting a lot of static. Um, I would hook this thing up and start using it, and then, like, 20 seconds into my session, there'd be so much static, I, it was just unusable. It was like the thing was melt you know, melting down inside or something. So I, um, what I did was I noticed I had both, uh, my USB for my, um, external hard drive and for my, uh, for the actual Mbox 2, which is powered by USB, both plugged into this one side over here. And, um, so I realized once I finally just, uh, switched the side, I, I kept my um, external hard drive over here plugged in, and then I switched the Mbox 2 to the opposite side here and uh, have that plugged in there. And I'm not exactly sure why why that fixed it, but um, what I'm thinking is it just, uh, I guess, reduced the amount of information needing to flow through that part of the uh, the motherboard on the um, in, inside the laptop, so out of those USB ports. Anyway, um, so Basically, that did it. Uh, I've been using this for quite a while now, and I've not, not had any problems at all. Um, no static. Everything works. Nothing crashes. And um, what you're listening to right now is actually my uh, Shure SM57 um, plugged in to this thing and recording. So this is my SM57 that I have right here. And I got this little pop filter on it that uh, was like probably 15 bucks from, I don't know, Guitar Center or something. But um, that's it. That's how I fixed my Mbox too. Thank you.